Sorry about that. Camera cut off. Um, sometimes I use Carol's Auto Lock Butter when I'm doing a mirror's individual braid. And I initially got this for his two strand twist, but I found that was before I discovered Commit by Logic. And I have a bunch of this left, so I need to go ahead and use it. I'll put his hair in individual braids for about two weeks. And in between that time, I'll co-wash and shampoo it. I'm mainly co-washing. And then when I take the braids down, I'll shampoo it. And um, I'll co-wash his hair with the same conditions I co-wash my hair with. So, all of us have healthy hair over here. Um, but it's, it smells really nice. I probably will not be re will not be repurchasing this again. Just because I have other moisturizers that do the same thing. But this smells really nice. And it says it's for locks, palm rolls, and two strand twist styles. So, it is an oil-based product. Um... So it's going to leave your hair a little greasy. Then I have my my light protein. The only protein I really have is the Alpha G Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. Uh, it was okay. It didn't, it didn't wow me. It was like whatever. I don't really have a problem with protein. I don't know if it's because if I eat a lot of it. <laughs> so I love it because oh, in my house we, we, we eat beans and rice all the time. We eat pinto beans and rice with enchiladas. We eat black eyed peas, we eat a lot of chicken, we eat tuna fish, okay, we eat a lot, we eat a lot of our protein. So maybe that's why I don't really need it in my conditioners, but it just didn't do nothing. It felt dry, and I was like, whatever, I might send it to my little sister, she loves products. Um, okay, and then I have my replenishing sprays, uh, Comet Biologics. Cardi Replenishing Mist, and this is just for my braid out. It's been like three or four days old, and it's trying to look a little puffy. Spray a little bit on it, refresh it up. And this is my mix right here. This is just rose water and glycerin. That's it. And it's very moisturizing. Then let me get on to my growth aids. I only have two. Um, the Transitioners Tonic by Kinky Curly. I use this when I do sew-ins because it's water-based, and um, it won't create such a build up as quickly but um it's really good i like it i've seen growth with both products anyway and this is um patient's hair growth oil i put it in this little foreign container because i like it um i like the liquid better than the pomade that i got it came in a little jar and she told me to keep it in the refrigerator so it can be like grease on my scalp but it's easier for me and I use this when I do have, when I wear my natural hair out, when I don't have any wigs or I won't have any braid out, um, so in then I just have a braid out or a twist out. I put it in, especially around my edges, this is where I had the most damage at. And it's actually grown back really well. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I think it's because of the oils and my, me styling my hair in protective styles and low manipulation. But this is good. I've seen growth with this. So. And no, I'm not getting paid to say that <laughs> for any of these products. It's just me sharing my knowledge with you guys. Um, then I have my grapeseed oil. I fry my chicken with this. If you fry your chicken or deep fry anything in grapeseed oil, it'll give it this crisp texture. You want crispy hot wings? Grapeseed oil. You want crisp french fries? Or sometimes what I do out here, um, we might eat like nachos or something, and I'll cut up the tortillas in triangles. And I deep fry them in the grape seed oil, and it creates the little natural, um, the nacho chips. It's a great alternative, um, other than eating Doritos or the salty tortilla chips that you buy in the store, because um, I don't put salt on on the chips, and it's just on um, regular flour tortillas. So great for that, and for my hair and my skin. It's really lightweight, and it doesn't even have a smell or anything. Then I have Carol's daughter Lisa's hair elixir. Um, it's rosemary, sweet almond oil, olive oil, peppermint, and sage. It's good for um, give you that menthol tingling feeling. I put it in my deep conditioners when I deep condition. Then I have coconut oil. I keep it in here because I cook with it too. I cook with coconut oil. I cook with all my oil. Um, extra virgin olive oil. I put it in my deep conditioners. I cook with this also. Then I have the tree oil. I bought the little thing because it was cute and I love the way it smelled. But I use this mainly for fragrance. When I wear a bright light, when I take my braid out down, I use coconut oil and I put a little bit of tweet oil for fragrance. So, that's, that's the only reason I have that. Then I have the hair balm, and I put this in the oil because it is, has a really oily consistency. And I can use this for braid outs, but I really, or deep conditioners or pre put with conditioners, I really haven't found a need for it. I got it on an impulse buy, so. Now I have to use it. So, <laughs> now I have to use it up. 
So that's basically it. You got, oh, wait, one more thing. Oh, then I got Oya Handmade Whipped Shea Butter. And this is the consistency. It's really fluffy and light. And it's like, it, fly, it flies away a little bit if you use it. You can put this on your hair. And see, it emulsifies when you, liquefies, I'm sorry, when you um rub it in. And I put this on my kids so they get out of the shower. And then I, I hate the way it smells. And I put like a, some Carol's Daughter on top of it. Or maybe some, I like Johnson & Johnson's. It has all the other crap in it. Um, or something with the fragrance on top of it. Because I hate how this smells. I hate how it smells. But I love the the properties that it gives you, the um, moisturizing and the, the benefits of the shea butter. So that's basically it, you guys. That's my products, what I use. Um, it's not really a lot because I don't put a lot in my hair. I'm trying so hard not to become a product junkie. I want to try Carol's Body Beautiful. I want to try Kinky Curly Not Today. I want to try Hair Veda, uh, Kamaza Care. It's a bunch of different products that I want to try, but I'm trying to re restrain and stop spending so much money on makeup and hair. Okay, so thanks you guys for watching. Uh, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, give me an email or that's basically it. Bye.